Hey guys, good morning. It's your girl Isha here. And it's Staycay Day. Yay! <laughs> and uh, gosh, starting off the day a little bit later than I thought, but I definitely want to get in a little bit of exercise and I wanted to do a walk this morning. So I try to get up at 6 or 5.30 some days to get some exercise in because if I don't get it done first thing in the morning <laughs> it does not get done I just have to be realistic with myself <laughs> um, so I'm just walking around the neighborhood really um, there's hardly anybody up and moving around so it's usually a nice quiet time for me and some music or an audiobook and uh, yeah I just walk around the neighborhood so what's on tap for today once I am done walking. Let me make sure I don't trip on the sidewalk here. Um, once I'm done walking, head back home. Walk out, do a loop around the neighborhood and walk right back home. And uh, get my three-year-old, almost three-year-old, ready for daycare because his child care has not been interrupted. And he's been safe. We've been well, thankfully. So definitely very, very, very thankful for that. Um, get him ready for daycare. I definitely will not film that. You guys do not need to be subjected to terrible twos and, and, and terrible threes um, first thing in this video. So once we get him ready, um, I'll get back home and to have some uh, breakfast, probably read, have some peaceful time there, and uh, get into the rest of the day. All right, let's go. Hey guys, okay, almost at the end of the walk and I uh, thought I would talk a little bit about how did I start the vacay? So the vacay actually started last night and um, I had a welcome drink. I created a welcome drink at home, so that was fun. <laughs> it had uh, watermelon, lemon juice, and mint. And I put a little tequila in there. <laughs> which was good and it was delicious some ice and you know just blended it all up it was just wonderful so I gave myself a little welcome drink because you know you get it when you're going on a real vacation you usually get a little welcome drink when you arrive so I treated myself to that while I was having dinner with the fam uh, and uh, I gave myself a I treated myself to a um, bath last night a bubble bath so that was fantastic and I'll definitely post some pictures I put a little greenery in there and lit some candles had my bubbles and some um, uh, spa music so that was heavenly and after that I was done for the night <laughs> that bubble bath put me right to sleep and uh, here we are it's the next day it's the next day so as I said I'm gonna go ahead and make my uh, smoothie once I get back to the house um, get little man up if he's not up already usually he's kind of stirring by the time I get back from my walk or I finish doing my yoga in the morning so I'm gonna get him up ready to go out of the house which is always a feat <laughs> and uh, get the rest of the day going all right hey guys it's your girl Isha here so uh, came back from the walk had some more water <laughs> on our steak a day uh, got the kiddo ready he was knocked out so it took a little while to get him going dropped him off at daycare I am back I am changed into full-on vacay mode these are both me made I'll be sure you guys will see some more as I go through the video anyway but uh, now I'm getting ready to make my smoothie I'm a little bit behind in terms of when I usually have breakfast definitely do it a little bit earlier than this but uh, today, gosh, we have camera setups and getting all the ingredients laid out and all this stuff. So it's taking a little bit more time, but that's cool. So the plan is to make a smoothie. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put in my smoothie this morning. It's a little bit extra special because it's a staycay, of course. And I'm going to make some um, spa water to go along that I can drink throughout the day. Um, just to make it a little bit extra special. All right, so let's get started with the smoothie. So I have um, just cut up some fresh pineapple right here, some fresh 
papaya or papa as it's called in Trinidad and a few other Caribbean countries I believe. Um, I'm going with a little Caribbean theme, beach theme today because I miss the beach in the Caribbean so much. I missed, you know, I was supposed to be in Barbados a few weeks ago. Of course, Miss Rona did not allow that to happen. Miss Rona's not letting us be great guys so we have to try to do it in other ways, all right? So I have some papaya. Well, papa, as I said, I have some um, raw cashews. They don't have to be organic, but raw cashews for a little bit of protein to put in your smoothie. I have a little piece of ginger, and this is the first time I'm gonna try some cinnamon. So I have this book uh, called The Flavor Bible, and it's not a typical cookbook, so it, um, has lists ingredients so it has papayas listed there pineapples listed there and many other different kinds of foods like if you were going to cook chicken chicken is listed there and then it lists a whole bunch of ingredients that it has affinities with that go well and cinnamon was actually listed for papa so we're gonna try that all right and uh, yeah, I have everything. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna put everything in my smoothie cup. I got my trusty Ninja over here and we're gonna blend those up and then I'm gonna go through the water with you. All right, let me go. I'm so excited. <laughs> we have the, uh, everything's blended up in here and I'm just gonna add some almond milk in here to thin it out a little bit more and we're gonna mix it up with the straw and we're gonna give it a little taste. As you can see, it's a beautiful peachy, orangey kind of color that's from the papaya and probably a little bit from the cinnamon too, so. Let's take a little sip. Mmm really nice and creamy and I can definitely taste the cinnamon a little bit it's just in the background probably should have put a little bit more lemon I'm definitely gonna do that next time but yeah this is perfect just for this morning let me <laughs> tidy up the cup a little bit there we go all right okay oh yeah now the ginger is kicking in like it's at the back of the throat it's mm, really good Okay, so that is part one. Let's look at part two, which is putting together our spa water. So I already have a pitcher of some water here. I have some more lemon that's left over from my welcome cocktail that I treated myself to last night. And I'm definitely gonna link to the blog where you can get the recipe for that welcome cocktail and also for this smoothie. Um, but guys, I've just been keeping things really, really simple. So don't get hung up on quantities, you know. I might put, you know, two cups of watermelon pieces in something. If you like more watermelon, put more watermelon. Don't get hung up on the quantities too much. You're just making this easy, easy peasy because it is stay K mode, right? Okay. <laughs> so just squeezing a little bit of lemon in there. And I'm going to add some cucumber slices that I sliced up for um, sides for our dinner last night. I made sure to cut up a little bit extra for dinner tonight and also so I could put it in my water. And I used a um, mandolin to get these super thin, but you know, you can always just use your knife and, and cut it and uh, it'll be just fine. But I just use my mandolin because I have one and I really wanted the slices to get super thin so there we go that's my cucumber water I'm gonna leave that on the counter and uh, it will definitely get infused as the day goes on and I'll be sure to drink my allotment of water um, and it's a little bit elevated water today than just regular old water so yeah we're gonna do this next step heading out into the backyard to get some Sun I have my Sun hat as you can see I have my swimsuit and my cover up on and we're just gonna go do that all right Let's go. Hello, hey, I'm back. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, yeah, we had a wonderful time in the backyard. It was really, really lovely and peaceful, except when uh, some workmen came <laughs> next door to my neighbor's house and were giving me weird looks in the backyard, but I waved and I smiled. You know, I'm in my own yard. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I had got some sun, I had the opportunity to be in nature and nice and peaceful for a little while, so it was absolutely wonderful. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So good. Stay K is off to a good start. Uh, so took a shower, a really nice long shower, and did a face mask. So I look all, I don't know if I look more glowy or shiny. I don't know which one it is. Face masks, face masks always have the, um, uh, always make me look shiny. So it is what it is. And now I'm getting ready to do my pedicure, which I'm really excited about since lockdown haven't done it. So, we are ready to get in there, shape up these feet, uh, probably, I have some Queer Eye episodes to catch up on, so probably going to watch that, or maybe re-watch Hamilton again for the millionth time. Maybe I'll actually take the opportunity to do that, because I always get cut eye or side eye from my husband whenever I'm watching Hamilton, he's like, you're watching that again. So maybe I will do that. <laughs> but I have all my things set up here, all my nail polish foot files, cream, everything is all set up and ready to go to have my fabulous pedicure. So I'm very, very excited about that. And uh, next, probably lunch. I should be hungry by then. And um, I have a really good Caribbean lunch. So I'm excited about that. All right. I'll see you guys later. And we're back. All right. So uh, pedicure done. Yes, the feet feel Ah, so much better. <laughs> As I said, it's been months since I've done a pedicure. Not good. So binged on my Hamilton rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. I've watched it many times. Let's just leave it at that. And did my pedicure and now getting ready to have some lunch. You probably can't see it in that angle, but uh, this is the national dish of Barbados, which is flying fish and cuckoo. So I have some flying fish substitute, which is tilapia. And I made the cuckoo, which is made from cornmeal, okra, for those of you who are in the US, or okra, as we call it in the Caribbean, and uh, some krail sauce, which is a tomato-based sauce, and it is just delicious. So this is from my uh, Caribbean cooking class that I did on Sunday. So it's still some left, so I'm about to put my feet up and indulge in this and uh, watch a little bit more TV. So Stay K continues with, after lunch is done, um, I'm gonna be heading up to my sewing room to spend the last few hours just creating. And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to show you guys some video of that before my three-year-old gets home and that will be the end of the Stay K. <laughs> be back with more soon. And I'm back. <laughs> uh, so, staycation is coming to an end. Sigh. I got wrapped up in the couch, as I knew I would after eating. The couch just sucked me in. Queer eye sucked me in. So I spent some more time there than I wanted to. But, ladies, I don't know. Karamo is like the sexiest gay man alive, I swear to God. So I had a good time just sitting down watching the queer guys, queer eye guys, and it was fun. So now I am back in my messy sewing room, as you can see. It is very chaotic right now. I am working on uh, cutting out some sewing projects that I'm going to be working on over the next couple of months, one to two months and um which are a couple of rompers a couple of skirts a two kimonos i believe and after that it'll be a little bit up in the air because we may be getting into cooler weather so i may have to switch gears a little bit in terms of what i was thinking of sewing so yeah in the sewing room it's a little chaotic i'm going to continue cutting out some stuff um, hopefully I can finish cutting out the last three remaining things that I need to cut out, which is to finish cutting out a mint green wrap skirt and work on the two uh, kimono kind of tops, kind of like these. They're like cover-ups that I'm wearing today. Um, and uh, hopefully I can finish cutting out all of those and hopefully start to sew because I have uh, 
seven projects. <laughs> if I finish cutting out these last three, that'll be seven projects that I can really just sit down and um, start to work on sewing. Yeah. And that is it. That'll be the day. I will go straight on till six, which is when my three-year-old will be barging through the door. And that will be the end of the staycation. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this along with me. Uh, if you are watching this video, um, definitely click the link to the blog for any links to recipes like my welcome drink that I did yesterday and also the smoothie recipe that I did this morning. If you wanted more information about the dish that I ate which for lunch which was the um, flying fish and cuckoo or flying tilapia, <laughs> flying tilapia <laughs> and cuckoo, uh, be sure to check out the blog as well because that I will put the link in there to join the Ultimate Insiders Plus family. And in that membership service, you can get access to that recipe and to the actual cook along, which I filmed live. And Ultimate Access, Ultimate Insiders Plus members get access to that every single month, a new live cooking class every single month, among other things like our Caribbean virtual vacations and a whole bunch of other info that is Caribbean related. So if you love Caribbean culture and you definitely want to um, learn more and get more information, then Ultimate Insiders Plus is for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the staycation. This may be a long video, so I apologize in advance. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching along with me. And my plan is to um, plan some events where we can staycation together and have them themed, maybe about two to three events and have them themed so that we can all staycation together, even though we are still on stay at home order, many of us. Anyway, it's your girl Isha here. Thanks again for watching. As always, till the next line. <laughs>